Yo, what's up? This is Patrick. This is Marco. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to take a look at the Power BI data model without actually having the Power BI desktop file. Stay tuned. Okay, Marco. So somebody reached out to me and I need to help them optimize their model or look for possible opportunities to optimize their model, yeah. but they can't send me their model. It's yeah. too big. Maybe yeah. it's too big, right? That's one maybe, situation. Maybe sensitive data. Maybe that's a big one, sensitive data, yeah. because the customers we work with, well, they have but their... Because if they have sensitive data, they could just save the PBIT file without any data, but at that point, uh, it's hard to help, right? It's because really hard to help. But if I it will not show anything. No. Nope. No, no and so data. I need to look at, I want to kind of look, get my hands on the structure, right? Yeah. Look for cardinality, yeah. look for, like the video we did before. Yeah. Like the video we did before. With Vertipack Analyzer, yep. uh, we didn't show in that video that uh, you can save the file, the, uh, in, in one file, uh, we can save all the metadata without the data. And you can use this information, which is a small file that you can obtain, yeah. Yeah. send the file over to you, for example, and yep. you can open it in Excel. Whoa, okay, uh, all right, enough like of it? all this talking, Marco. Okay. Let's head over your laptop. Okay. All right. So this is the, the same model we have seen the other time. Yep. Uh, this is a PBX file that is pretty large. So we have, uh, the, this is the file I, I open, yep. which is uh, a file that is 250 sure. uh, megabytes. Yep. As you see, you already have an um, Excel file that I will open in a minute. Okay. But uh, let's start uh, from uh, how to inspect this uh, PBX file. So I connect to the model so, with Dax Studio. The person that's going to provide me with this would yes. do this. Yes, you have okay. to just uh, show this video or okay. the previous one and yep. show, okay, look, you have to install Dex Studio, connect, open the PBX file, mm -hmm. open Dex Studio, connect uh, to the PBX file. Yep. Then you go here in the advanced. And what he has to do is just export matrix. But just to recap what we did last time, mm -hmm. with view matrix, he can see these numbers, but of course, when he sees these numbers, he doesn't understand sure. anything. But for some reason, also watching these numbers in a conference call could be not enough, because yep. then you have to see other details that I will show you now. Yep. So one thing that he can do, and it shouldn't be so hard, is to export matrix. So I can export this metadata? Yeah. Out. I'll show you. I'll show okay. you. Yeah. So if I go here, and I go to my VertiPack Analyzer demo file. Mm -hmm. So we have everything here. Mm -hmm. You see that the, 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 the file name that is proposed is uh, something, let's call this uh, Patrick. All right, okay, Patrick. I like that name. And I said the VPAX file. VPAX. No, VPAX. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, VertiPack. No, VertiPack Analyzer okay, okay, yeah. extended file. Mm -hmm. Now, what did we save? This is important because uh, imagine that the problem is not the size, but is that the data is sensitive. Before sending a file that has been uh, generated uh, from a Power BI file, um, your customer or your the person that you want to help mm -hmm. want to make sure he's not uh, going to disclose any sensitive data. That's so right. So at this point, uh, we can uh, show and you can explain him, look, don't worry. You can uh, just copy this file, copy and paste, uh, and I rename this file to a zip file. So it's a patrick.zip file, because a VPX file is just a zip file. Okay. In reality. Yep. We, okay. we call this a VPAX, we, we know what is the content, but actually it is a, it's a zip file. And now I, I don't need to do that when I had to send a file to you, but it is just something that I want to do to make sure I don't have any sensitive data there. I don't okay. want to see the name of the customer, the address, a phone number, sure. the result of an analysis that I can connect, okay? okay. No sensitive data. So before so, they send this, they can go and inspect it to make sure they're yeah. not sending me sensitive data. Correct. Okay. So now I ex I expanded the content here, and I as you see you you have Patrick here, and you have these files. Yep. And these files are JSON file, JSON file, and the BIM file. Got it. So how can I demonstrate that there are no sensitive data? I can just open these files with an editor. So for example, I can uh, open this with. Uh, Oh, I can open this with uh, Visual Studio Code. So okay. I, and I just uh, bring this data in here. And you see, I already made a similar demo before. Mm -hmm. So I want to show that I am actually looking at the content of this oh, file, this file, nice. this file. And at this point, you can scan this file. But what we have in this file, this is just the, the model. Mm -hmm. The beam file is mm -hmm. the model. The VPA view JSON is the result of a number of uh, 
in a number of uh, queries we do over data management views in order to know what is the size and memory of something, what is uh, yep. the number of unique values, yep. uh, and so on. Mm -hmm. And the same here. The DAX model JSON is another file that has information that makes model the statistical, but it is guaranteed, I can guarantee that we don't have any row of the data of the model. So once that's verified, yeah. then what do they send me? They should send only the VPAX file, but this is just a, this uh, analysis of the content uh, mm -hmm. is just to make, you know, to trust you that you're not going to steal information yeah. from this. Of sure. course, he has to trust you about the model, okay? But uh, this file, the VPAX file, is what uh, he going to send you by email. And that's all I need. You need only this 50 kilobyte instead of wow. 250 megabytes of sure. the PBX file. Okay? okay, so this is the size of the file. All right. Now, you receive the file by email. What do yep. you do? I don't know. You need to tell me. <laughs> you open this file. So this Vertipack Analyzer, now this is the preview. I hope that uh, at a certain point before the end of the year, we will have the uh, okay. you know, live release. in production ready to go. Yes, but this preview already works. Yep. So okay. and, and and the content will be similar. So Vertipack Analyzer 2.0, uh, the 2.0. When you open it, you have uh, this additional ribbon Vertipack Analyzer that has open VPAX file. Oh. You know? So I so, need to go to SQL BI slash tools and download yeah. the latest Vertipack Analyzer. Vert you download the latest Vertipack okay. Analyzer file, and if you have multiple files, because we keep the older versions for compatibility yep. reasons, yep. but you open this one. Mm -hmm. And you have this open uh, VPAX button, and here you just uh, introduce the uh, name of the file that you received by email. That's it. Okay. So what's going to happen when I? When you do that, uh, now in a few seconds, uh, we open this file, we import this file with some Power Query transformation because actually we populate a Power wow. Pivot model. So if you want to learn something about Power Query data wow. modeling, that so we do this uh, because actually we we did these JSON files in a, in a in a model in Power Pivot. Got it. And at the end, we populate uh, a number of pivot tables that uh, provide the same information you have seen in uh, DAX Studio. Okay, all right. But actually, with much more details. Ah, so, so it's I a richer it, set of data. Yes. Okay. Because actually, what uh, what the DAX Studio does, it shows you only a few of these uh, um, pages. Sure. So you have tables like in DAX Studio. Mm -hmm. You have columns like in DAX Studio. Yep. And you have uh, relationships like in Next Studio. Yep. But we have here some more detail about user hierarchies, which is probably not interesting, especially for a, a model in uh, Power BI. Yep. We have information about the compressions, uh, the column data types, and the encoding. Uh, and these are information that could be useful if you have a large analysis services sure. uh, model yep. or a large model in Power BI Premium. Yep. So if you have a very big model, this could be interesting information for a BI developer. Sure. But uh, it's just a Power BI file with sensitive data at 150 megabytes. I don't think you need this information for that file. What is interesting is this tab that you don't have in DAX Studio, yep. which is DAX Expressions. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So not only did this give me you know, data size and schema information, but it's also going to give me my DAX Expressions? Every DAX expression you wrote in any place of your model, measures, calculated columns, calculated tables, wow. rows, uh, uh, format, uh, you know, conditional formatting that you yeah. might have, yeah. any place where you have a DAX expression, you can see the DAX expression here. Wow. You can also format the DAX expression. Now, these are very simple, So, but when you have a long DAX expression, yeah. this is a formatted and colored within Excel. In a single page in Excel, you have everything which makes it easy, for example, to do a search. Imagine that you can search for contains. any, whatever. Yeah. You can do a, a search in Excel is certainly powerful enough to find whenever you reference a certain table or column. Yeah. Because once you have seen that a certain column is expensive, a certain table is expensive, you can focus your search, uh, you, can, you can direct your search on something that could be dangerous. Uh -huh. yep. So if you have already an idea about, oh, this measure is slow, yeah. you don't need all this stuff. Yeah. But usually when they don't know exactly what is going on and yep. you have to investigate, um, when you have 200 measures, uh, you don't want to read 200 measures one by one. Yep. You want to say, okay, this is the biggest table. Let me show uh, which are the measures that could do something with this table. And if you find, for example, uh, an iterator over the table with a context transition, oh, bang, this is what I want to optimize Got first. It. Got it. Wow. Okay. 
and, and here you see you can you can filter by table by type by name uh, for example i want to see only the measures so you do this now this is a very simple model sure but in, sure. A, in a large model the number of information you have here is huge yes right and, and that's it now that you can do this you can also just uh, talk with the other person and say um, do me a favor, try to remove this measure from this report. This is going to be faster because probably you located something that was low. Yep. Of course, if he can locate with the performance analyzer in Power BI, oh, oh. a slow query, yep. you can get the query. But when you read the query, looking at the name of the tables, the name of the measures uh, that you have here with all the information about uh, the side of the table, the number of NIC values uh, that we did explain in the previous video, yep. you have uh, a lot of information. Actually, when I work remotely with a customer, when I start to say, I have a large model, I have a... stop. Yep. Stop. Send me the VertiPack Analyzer file. Then we continue our conversation. Because it's a waste of time to ask uh, information that they don't know or they sure. think to know. When I ask, what is the biggest table? Oh, this one. And maybe it's false. Yeah. What is the, how many rows you have? Oh, 10 million, maybe just one or just, uh, yep. or, or maybe 100. Yep. So sometimes the, the information is inaccurate, especially when I ask how many unique values you have in a column, they don't know. Right. And so using this method, yeah. now we can easily have more definitive answers as opposed to guessing. This is data, right? Yeah. It's just uh, you you make a decision based on data, not yep. based on impressions. Yep. It's, it's there you the go. same thing. You know, yeah. we, we do business intelligence over uh, business intelligence models. That's right. <laughs> All right. What do you guys think? You got any questions, comments for Marco or myself? Post it in the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, big thumbs up. As always, from Patrick, from Marco, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.